Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on K nearest neighbors algorithm. And today we are going to cover how K nearest neighbor algorithm works, develop a K nearest neighbors KNN classifier and a KNN regressor using some real data. So we are going to develop two models today and finally discuss on how to choose the right K for the KNN algorithm. So this is going to be a very action-packed video. K-nearest neighbor algorithm is one of the simplest and still popular machine learning models out there. We know there are lots of more complicated and sophisticated models out there, but still, if a simple model can do the job, then I would never go for a harder one. The reason it's still popular is it's easy to use and it is easy to explain to the stakeholders. Let's see how easy it is. So how a KN in a classifier works. So let's look at this example. We have all these red triangles and black rectangles. And then we have this new data point here. So how do we classify this new data point? So first we take the distance of this data point to all the existing data point individually and based on the distances we choose the nearest neighbors so as we choose k equals to 3 so we chose three nearest neighbors and here we have two blacks one red so black wins so we predict that new data as black rectangle so as simple as that let's look at another example so here we have three green dots and two red. So when we have this new dot, how do we classify this? So first we take k as a three. So when k is a three, so it falls in the smaller rectangle based on the distance. And we have two red dots and one green, so red wins. So when the k is three, red is the predicted class for this new dot. And then let's choose k equals to 5 and then see what happens. So when k is 5, it falls under this bigger region. We have 3 greens and 2 reds. So the green wins. And the prediction for the new dot is green. See how just choosing different k change the prediction. So k is very important here. And we have to choose the k really really carefully for k and n classifier. We will work on how to choose the right k later in this video. Let's sum up how a KNN classifier works. The entire training data set is used as reference and when the model has to predict on a new point, it takes the distance from the new data point to all the training data using a simple distance formula such as Euclidean distance. And based on the distances, the algorithm finds the k number of nearest neighbors to the new data point. The most common class amongst the k number of nearest neighbors is the predicted label for the new data point. Now how a k nearest neighbor regressor works. So for k and a regressor also the first three point stays the same and the last one changes. So using this first three point we take the distance of the k nearest neighbors and then take the average or weighted average of the k nearest neighbors for prediction. So that's pretty much the overview and now let's dive into the code, develop some models in Python. First we will start with the classifier model. Here we have consumer buying history.csv dataset. I have the link of this dataset in the description box below. Please feel free to download the dataset and follow along. And the dataset is pretty simple. We have age, estimated salary and purchased the value at least zero or one. We want to see if we have age and estimated salary, if we can predict if the consumer purchased or not. And as usual, I am checking for the null values and we see we don't have any null values. Clearly for this data set, age and estimated salary is our training features and purchased is our label or target variable. So here I defined the training features and target variable and then see with train test split, 
we define x train x test, y train y test. Well, let's dive into the model. So first import from neighbors import k nearest neighbors classifier. Now let's just call it k nearest neighbor classifier and number of k so n neighbors the number of neighbors that means the value of k just let's start with five and caric dot fit x train and y train the model training is done let's check the accuracy score let's caric dot score x test and y test i'm going to check the accuracy score on the test data set and you see we have 83.75 percent accuracy which is pretty good actually we checked with k values or number of neighbors five so how do we know that which k value is or which number of neighbors is going to be the best fit so to know that we need to try with different number of neighbors we will do that now so for that let's just copy this and make a definition or function make k reg and put k as the parameter and okay well instead of five i put k the k here right we will try a different number here and return the score okay not score maybe k reg dot score x test y test okay this is the function now we are going to use it scores and then for um i in range 1 to maybe 40 1 to 40 and uh, let's choose all the odd numbers so it will be 1, 3, 5, up to 39. And then call caring scores.append caring i. Okay. So we are going to get scores, the accuracy score for all the k values from 1 to 40 odd numbers only. Okay. Oh, oh. the spelling mistake. Like it's giving all the warnings, but we don't need to be worried. Let's see the scores. These are the scores we have, right? Now let's plot it. Import matplotlib dot plot as plt plt dot plot. So put the range, the same range we used here, one. 40 and 2 and the scores and let's see how it looks like so this is how it looks like so you can see that it starts here 0 0.84 maybe 0 0.83 a little over that 0 0.83 uh, 7 or 8 and then it goes up there's a steep growth here and then there's a steep fall and it went up and down it kept going up and down but it never touched this level again and it looks like the k value of seven so i would pick a k value of seven for this project or for this data set let's try let's copy this thing here okay and change this k value to seven as we are seeing that the k value of seven gave us the highest accuracy score and let's check the score kreg dot score x test and y test and you see 0 0.875 with k value of 5 we had 0 0.8375 and here is 0 0.875 significant improvement isn't it so we are going to settle for k value of 7, clearly that gave the best result.
Well, that's all for the classification model. Now let's develop the regression model. So here I have another data set prepared for the regression model. So I'm using housing data.cs before the regression model, and you can see we have all these features and we have the price. So what we're going to do, we are going to use all the other features and see if we can predict the price. And you can see we have ID. We are not going to use the ID, and we are also not going to use the date for now. We are going to use the everything else. So, as usual, you can see we checked for the null values, and we do not have null values in any of the variables. That's a good news. And here we are defining training features and target variable. And as I mentioned earlier, the training features is going to be everything else except for the ID, date column, and price. Price is going to be our target variable, so we are just going to take df.price as a target variable. Here I'm using train test split method to split the data set into training portion and validation or a test portion. Okay, import again from sklearn dot neighbors oh spelling mistake again import k nearest regressor knn i will do k nearest regressor and this time let's start with five again because we will check with a range a little bit later knn dot fit x train and y train we just called k neighbors regressor and n neighbors actually is the name of the parameter so n neighbors five and that's the model model training is done and this is a regression model so i will use mean absolute error to test the model okay so from sklearn dot matrix import mean absolute error and for the mean absolute error i will need to predict y pred knn dot predict x test and mean absolute error we have to pass the predicted value and the original label, so y pred and y test. So this is the mean absolute error we have. We need to find a k value where mean absolute error is the lowest. I would like to check a range of values, so def knn, I will create a definition or a function where I can check a range. So I'll put k as a parameter and let's copy this. Okay. Instead of 5, I'll put k here, this k. Okay. And this mean absolute error. So before that, y pred knn dot red x test and then mean absolute error y pred y test this is what we want to return is we want to keep calculating mean absolute error for the range of k now i will create a list and then a range of k values for i in range 1 to 40. This time I will take even numbers and odd numbers both. Simply because look at this, this is the regression. So for regression, what it does, it takes the price, in this case price, price is a target variable. So it will take the price of the nearest neighbors and average it. Right, that's how it works. So MA is dot append, and I will call I will use this function. Okay, KNN I. That's it.
Oh, I got this because I use pred here. It's actually predict. Okay, now it's fine. Now let's see our MAEs. So we have the least of MAEs. We have the least of mean absolute errors. Let's plot it. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now plt.plot and I will take this range. Okay. This range from here because I want to get all the MAEs for this range. So this range is going to be the x axis and the mean absolute errors in the y axis. And look how nice elbow shape. So when your k value or number of nearest neighbor was 1, we have the highest mean absolute error. It went down and the slope is pretty steep. And this is the lowest point which we want. And then it started going up again. So this is our perfect number of neighbors. That's 10. Let's take it again. And I will also copy these two lines from here. You can see I'm calling k neighbors regressor and n neighbors. We just found out that that should be 10. 10 is the best one. That gives us the minimum or lowest mean absolute error. And then we fit x train, y train, the training data to the model. And y predict, we just predict from our x test, the text data, and then calculate mean absolute error. And you see, this is much lower. It was 155,800 something, and it is 149,700 something. So this is pretty much how you can develop a k nearest neighbor model. We worked on one classification model, one regression model, and you also learned how to choose the best k for the model. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.